Fast Lawyer VR Reviews. For sexy VR reviews, hit the subscribe button. Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're doing a Let's Play and full live review for Depths Viewer VR, an app that was released on the Steam Store November 30th, 2022 by developer Changin Park. Depths Viewer is in early access. It is free to play. And I'll put a link on my video where you can download this app for free. And it's based on a free open source MIT license that renders 2D images and videos into 3D. And this is a normal 2D photo that I got from a website. I already forgot the name of the website, but I'll put a link in the video. I'll put a link on my video description to this website where I got most of these photos and movies. These are 2D photos. Uh, this one is 4K quality, I believe. And most of the videos are 4K that I got from this website as well. And this is a nature scene, and that's what I wanted to show first. And there is some nice depths here. Um, as you'll see around the edges, because you're getting the mirrored view, what I'm looking at in my VR headset. And you'll notice that there's edges to it. This is like a normal rectangle shaped photo, but with this uh, app, it warps the image. And you'll see here on the right side, it kind of smudges the edges. So there are some visual glitches here, but for the most part, the 3D is pretty good. I won't say it's on par with a native 3D photo, uh, like a full stereoscopic 3D photo that's native. I wouldn't say it looks as good as the top tier one of those, but it still looks pretty good. And if this was the early days of VR, you could confuse me that and make me think this was a native 3D photo, uh, which is amazing because this is just a normal 2D photo. It, it has some nice... 3D depth here, it's it's really surprising that this technology exists now and it's uh, free and open source. Let's look at another one. Now this is a short movie in MP, MP4 format. And this is a short little movie of horses. And you know, it got, it has some nice depth here. Again, it looks like the horses are coming towards you. So there is some nice 3D depths. Uh, but you also see how the image warps, and um, that's the thing that really looks weird about this. You know? But uh, when that horse moves its head towards you, that's when it looks the best. Um, it's really hard to see the 3D, though, when they're moving to the side. But when they're coming towards you, it really looks like they're coming towards you. So uh, I would say overall, this is a good 3D effect, but it's not the best. It, it doesn't really, I wouldn't say it looks like native. 3D just because there's so many visual glitches here. But overall, I would say it looks good. Now, this is actually a photo that I took from the internet, just some random photo. I don't even know where I took it from. But the photo quality wasn't very good. And you'll see there's lots of smudging, some warping. And it, it, looks, like, it looks like cardboard cutouts that are blurry and smudged. And it just doesn't look good. So, yeah, I would say this is not a good... This is what happens when you take a photo that's not very good and try to use this app for it. So I would recommend high-quality, high-resolution photos. Now, this one, on the other hand, I took from another random website. This is Margaret Qualley. And I was just looking her up, and I was using this app. So I said, might as well use the photos that I looked at. Uh, she was in The Leftovers, which I really love that show. And obviously, she's a very beautiful actress. And this is probably one of the best examples of this program. Uh, the photo quality is great. And, you know, it really, the 3D depth here is really good. Um, the only thing better would be if she was actually in your living room looking at you. But this is, this is surprising. This photo really surprised me when I saw it using Depth Viewer. Um, I mean, obviously, Margaret quality. Margaret Qualley is a very beautiful actress, but this depth viewer just makes you just be in awe. Like she's looking right at you, kind of you kind of want to look away because she's just so gorgeous. Uh, but yeah, no, great 3D quality here, really amazing job. This is probably the best example of this program working and working right. 
I, I don't see any issues, although you'll notice that the background is blurry, but that's the photo. You know, the photo was obviously taken with a with a lens that makes the foreground in focus and the background out of focus. So that's what you're getting here in 3D as well. So that's the photo, not the not the program, not the app. Again, another photo of Margaret Qualley. This is the last one. I swear I'm not her stalker. I was just looking her up because uh, she looked familiar. I, I knew I knew her from from somewhere and I had to look her up and I found out it was from The Leftovers. But yeah, uh, <laughs> this one's not as good as the other one. Uh, you'll notice some issues with her mouse. It, it just kind of doesn't look right. So yeah, um, this is not one of the better ones. Although, uh, yeah, as far as the 3D depths, if you look at her shoulders, that really like kind of pops out, but it's also like has some jaggies there and it, it, and it doesn't, it looks like a little cutout that wasn't cut out correctly. So yeah, I mean, now this is a nature photo that I took and I don't know what website I took this from, but this wasn't the one that I'm going to link to. This is some other website. And this is when I knew I had to find a better website that had 4K photos of high quality because this one just the quality wasn't good. I was just looking for free photos of nature. And this is the first one I downloaded and it just doesn't look good. <laughs> it's too blurry and the 3D depth is it's somewhat there, but not really all that great. So this is okay. But this one, I was really surprised. So this is from that website that I'm talking. I'll put a link in the video. And I think all the rest of the ones are from the website. So um, this is the night scenes. So I didn't think it would look good in 3D. I thought it's too dark. But boy, was I wrong. No, it looks great. The 3D here is fantastic of the rock formation. Now, in the background, the mountains and the stars do look flat. But in the foreground, this little rock formation does really pop. And that's surprising, you know, because the 2D photo, obviously all, all of it's flat. So that part of it does have depth and part of it doesn't is, is an odd concept. This is a, a movie that I took from that website again. I'll put a link in the video. I, and I'm not affiliated with this website. I had never heard of it, but they were offering free movie, free downloads of videos and photos that were of high quality. And there were no ads. There were no viruses that I know of. Uh, you could just download them freely. And I was surprised. I didn't know such a website existed. So I'm going to put a link in the video for that website as a thank you to them because I'm using all of this. Uh, again, these are free, uh, free to use, free license. But yeah, I don't, I don't know this. So I guess what I'm saying is I don't know this girl. <laughs> she is pretty, but I don't know her. But uh, the reason I chose this photo is because she's walking towards you and it really has a great 3D effect. This is one of the better examples of this working, although you'll notice that on the top right, you'll see the vegetation there doesn't look right. It's kind of like moving along like in a wave. It just, so there's obviously, obviously this program works really good, but there's some glaring issues as well. But I would say this one overall looks really good. And yeah, I mean, a pretty girl coming towards you. Okay, this is another one. Um, I'm glad I, sh I chose this photo so I could uh, mention some issues. And when I saw the 2D photo, I did notice that the hand was out of focus. You know, the nearest object was out of focus because the, the photographer was obviously focusing on her face. So her face is in focus, but her hand that is nearest is not. And in 3D, you get the same thing. Obviously, the 3D app here is not going to improve the photo. So even though the hand is the object closest to you, it's out of focus. So it, it makes the 3D look not as good. So uh, again, this app will work really good if you choose the correct photo where, you know, you want everything in focus basically, or at least the foreground in focus and you just want high re resolution photo and hopefully good lighting as well. Now this one where I thought the 3D would look really good, but it just really doesn't. And I'm not sure why, maybe it's just too dark in the background. Uh, but you'll notice the swords look bent and they look wavy, just doesn't look right. And the, probably the best part is the hand, the glove that's coming towards you on the left side. But overall, I would say it's uh, very underwhelming for the most part. This one is one of the better ones, I would say. Um, the 3D depth here is really good. Uh, you're going through this hallway. You can really notice the 3D depths. 
Uh, but you do notice an issue with the door on the left side. You see how it's curved slightly? So it just doesn't look right there. But for the most part, I would say it looks really good. Uh, this almost looks like native 3D stereoscopic photo, but it's not. It's just from this app, uh, which is really surprising how well it works when all the conditions are meant for it to work right. Uh, this is one where I can't figure out why it doesn't look good. This one should look good in Depth Viewer. The 3D should really pop, but it just really doesn't. I'm not sure if it's maybe the lake because of the reflected view of what's in the background. Maybe that's taken away from the 3D, but the 3D here just doesn't look all that great. Although you see the mountain peak kind of jumps out, out of the photo frame. That looks kind of kind of funny. Okay, this one looks really good in my opinion. So this, this is like you're walking in a dark forest and trees all around. You're surrounded by trees. This has a surprising uh, good 3D depth here. I, I thought it was maybe too dark and it wouldn't work well, but I, I was wrong. This one looks really good. One of my favorite ones. Oh, talking about my favorites. This is this is one of the best ones. Uh, when I saw this in 2D. I thought this will look really good in 3D, and I was right. It really does. You almost get vertigo, vertigo looking down on this. This is, this is really good. Wow, I like the 3D depth on this one. This is just you could you could almost fool me to think this was a native 3D photo. Uh, another one that's really excellent. One of the better nature ones. You'll see the foreground looks really good. There's a lot, really nice depths here. Uh, maybe in the far background, it doesn't look as great, but I would say overall, very good. One, one of the better nature scenes has really nice 3D depths overall. Um, one of the better ones. Now, um, I have mixed feelings about this one. Now, obviously, the sunflower looks great. It really pops in 3D and VR, and that's why I highly recommend you download this app. I mean, if Margaret Qualley didn't, if that photo of Mark Qualley didn't convince you to get this app, maybe this Sunflower <laughs> short movie will. But you'll see there's lots of issues around the Sunflower. That's really what takes away from the enjoyment of it. A lot of warping and it, the plain white background kind of makes it not look as good as, as the Sunflower looks. Okay, this is probably the best photo. I mean, Margaret Qualley is number one, that, that one that I really raved about, but this one would be number two here. <laughs> and wow, the 3D depth here is excellent. It's a sharp, clear photo with real 3D depths. It, it looks amazing here. This, this is the best one, in my opinion. Uh, you notice that here on the right side, the fence looks a little warped. That's the only issue I saw. But otherwise, it just looks crisp and clear with nice 3D, with, I said nice 3D depth, with great 3D depth. This is one of the better ones. Ah, uh, this one's not very good. This is one of the worst ones, in fact. I, I was surprised. I thought this one would look good, but it just doesn't. And you'll see that on the edges, it kind of looks like the image got blurred out. It kind of looks like it was stretched out and that's why it doesn't look good. I don't know why that happened. Maybe it's because all the issues, maybe it's all the light and shadow and the program just couldn't handle it, but it, it just doesn't look good. Okay, so this is one that I thought would have great 3D depth. I said, oh, this one's going to look good in 3D and it doesn't look bad, but it also doesn't look as good as I thought it would. Uh, I thought this would be the best photo of a person. Because when I saw it in 2D, I said, oh, this one has some real 3D depth with the fingers pointing at the person and the fingers being in front and the person being a little bit in the background and with a clear white background. But it just doesn't. I'm not sure why, but if you look at the top left, the finger there looks like it from an alien. That looks a little funny. But yeah, I don't know why this one didn't look as good as I thought it would. Okay, man. Oh, man. This, this one... Is probably the one that disappointed me the most. I thought it would look great because I saw this in 2D and the video there looks really good. And I thought, well, this is going to pop in 3D. But unfortunately, there's just so many visual glitches. You'll see the steeple there. It's not quite right. It's off kilter there. Um, and there's just so much warping of the image. It's, it's shaky. It's so many visual glitches, I can't even name them all. It just doesn't look good. 
<laughs> okay, this is actually a screenshot I took of an app, of a VR app that I used for 3D modeling. And this is the stuff I, of nightmares. <laughs> I just had to include it. So yeah, you guys, you're very welcome. That nose really pops in 3D. <laughs> And when you when you want to find a chase, this is a little a 3D, 3D short I that I made it. of a game center ninety seven. Ah, oh, there he is. It's too dark. That's why it doesn't look great ah. in three D. But yeah, when the light's <laughs> right, you do see the the three D depths here. When you, when you want to find so, a chase, yeah, it's, it's just too dark. Guy. Ah man, this this one another one that disappointed me. This one really disappointed me. I thought it would look great, but it just doesn't. Uh, I'm not sure why. I, I wish I could say why, but it just doesn't look as good as I thought. It doesn't look horrible. You can see some 3D, but it's just very, it just doesn't really pop. Oh man, this is another disappointing one. Again, why some of these work and why some of these don't, I don't know, but this is probably the, this is probably the worst one. I mean, you, and you can tell the, the visual glitches. I, I don't need to tell you, but the a lot of the edges of the images are stretched out and just doesn't look good. So many so many visual glitches here. It's just, you can't enjoy the, the little sh MP4 short. And I have mixed feelings about this one. So parts of it look really good in depth viewer. You know, the, some of the birds when they're flying at times look really good, really good good like almost great 3d but there's just so many other birds flying at other times that something glitches though most of it is glitched though that's the problem so yeah parts of it if you look solely at some of the birds in some of the places it looks great in 3d and you would say this is, program did a great job but again so many visual glitches that overall just doesn't look good and there there we go we finished yeah, let's yeah. So let let's end with Margaret Qualley in 3D and VR. Wow, she's so gorgeous. Anyways, um, uh, I do recommend this app. Um, I think it's free, so you know you can't really complain. It was a free app. Well, I mean, I have, but only when they're horrible. But this one, uh, works at times. But you gotta pick the right photo or movie, and if you don't, the results are gonna be bad. So this is probably the best example of it working and working great. Um, I don't notice any issues in this photo. I mean, this is perfection, I think. And Margaret Qualley is very beautiful. So, you know, you get to see her and like she's almost in your living room. So uh, obviously I'm going to recommend this app, Depth Viewer. It's free to play. It's open source. I'll put a link in my video where you can download this app for free. I do recommend it. Uh, after rated, this is a tough one to score because when it works, it works really good. But a lot, a lot of times, it doesn't work work really good. So I think this is one of those apps where you just have to know what kind of movies it works in, what kind of photos it works in, and once you figure that out, you'll enjoy it. But if you try to put photos and videos where it doesn't look good, uh, it's not going to work great. Another thing to notice is that it's keyboard and mouse only. Motion controllers are not supported. So I was scrolling with the mouse wheel. And also when you're using this app, you don't see the UI or the menus in VR. You just see the end product in VR. So you have to navigate from the desktop view when you start the app. And then once once you select a folder and with your images or movies, then you can put on your VR headset. So beware of that. But overall, I would say it works. It's great when it works when it doesn't work it's not as good but overall i would give it a 7 out of 10 i think it's very promising it, it is an early access maybe they can fix some of these issues but if not i still recommend it uh because you know once you get used to it know what it wants it does an amazing job I mean, how else are you gonna get market quality in your living room probably there's no other way right anyways i'm fast lawyer if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe I hope I don't sound like a stalker, like Margaret Qualley. I don't, I'm not stalking you. Uh, like seriously, I just saw you in something else and that's why I was looking you up. I normally wouldn't have done that. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. Hope you enjoyed my video. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.